Hello everyone. Today we are having a demo on race managers caution features. Let's go over to the setup page here and note that there is a caution handling section here. This will set how race manager handles cautions and how basically what happens when you hit these caution buttons. But let's begin with a default setting where none of the caution uh, features are enabled. And we'll go over to timing, hit start, and we'll see what happens when we hit the different caution buttons. So I have four cars here. Let's hit the caution F3 button. When we hit it, all subsequent crossings will be yellow and the crossings will not count. They will not add any laps. Until you go back to start. Now let's see what happens when we hit the caution score button. Note how after you hit the caution score button, subsequent crossings will be counted. So you see here these two cars that came around under caution, their laps went up to lap two. And as cars continue to cross, they'll continue to be counted. So the caution score in this situation acts just as if you were under green flag conditions. The only difference is that the crossings will be highlighted in yellow. All right, now let's take a look at what happens when we try some of these caution features. So let's try this auto delete partial laps for caution. So what this feature does is it will delete any partial lap and go back to the last completed lap. So let's see what happens when we use this feature. So now we have a partial lap, we hit caution. And notice how it auto deletes this lap. So you are back to lap one and anybody else that comes across are under a non-scoring caution. Now notice that I've been closing this lineup button, but let's take a look at what this does. When you hit the caution button, either caution buttons, this lineup screen will pop up. It will show you what the lineup should be. Uh, since we are reverting to the last completed lap, you'll notice that this lineup will match the last completed laps crossing. So 30, 44, 1, and 5. 30, 44, 1, and 5. Now let's take a look what happens when we use the finish lap on caution only for scored cautions feature. So we check that. What this would do is it will allow a lap to complete. So say we have a partial lap, we hit the caution score, the other two cars come by and their laps are counted. So you can see how they have not fallen back a lap. Any subsequent crossings after this, after the lap is completed, will not be scored. You can see how the cars are all still on lap two. So this, this particular feature 
basically, uh, some people call it a race to yellow, but uh, or a split caution. It allows your your race to finish. Now, notice how the lineup. In this case, uh, the way it should be lined up is based on the last crossings under green for each particular car. So it'll start with 44, 1, then 5, followed by 30. What it doesn't do is uh, follow this particular lineup. It's only the green line. This this is not a great illustration because the uh, these happen to match up. And uh, uh, but let's let's try a different example and see what happens. So note here what the lineup looks like. It will be car one, then car 44, then the car 30 under green, and then the car five under green, as opposed to one, 44, five, 30. All right, so now let's take a look at this other feature, use race results for lineup. What happens here is if we use this, the lineup results will place the lapped cars in the back. All right, so here, if we hit the caution button, the last completed lap will look like this, car one, car 30, 44, and five. However, because we have the use race results for lineup, 30 is actually placed at the end, one, 44, five, and 30. And the same thing happens if you were to do this under uh, a um, caution score condition. Let's take a look here. Right, let's hit the caution score button. You notice that uh, car 30 once again is uh, one lap down. We hit the caution score. The cars will finish the lap and then go to a non-scoring caution. So, so notice how the lineup will be typically uh, without the that checkbox checked for use race results for lineup, it would be one, 44, 30, and five. But in this case, because we have that feature checked, it's one, 44, five, and then 30 was a lap down. And that's how that feature 
works, or we use the race results for lineup. All right, now let's take a look at this freeze place display on race to yellow. Let's uncheck this one for now and check that one. All right, so let's just uh, hit this uh, caution button. And note how the lineup now is based on the last completed lap. All right, let's ignore that one. That was not what I meant to do. Let's go back to green. Okay, now let's go to a caution score. All right, so in this case, you can see how the current running order is car one, 44, five, and 30. Now, I'm going to reverse the order uh, between cars five and 30, which one crosses first. So let's just say car 30 crosses first. Now, normally, See how it is now on lap four. You would expect it to be behind one and 44, and five would come afterwards. Uh, you know, it would be in the fourth place. But because we have frozen the place screen here, the running order, the lapped car will stay where it's at. Now, this feature is. Uh, really just used to help reduce, uh, say, confusion uh, when you've gone to a caution score condition. Um, some people don't like to see these positions moving while that's happening. They would like to freeze that in place. And that's what that feature is for. You can play around with it and see you know, what it does for you. And most people don't use it, but a few people find it useful. Now I won't go into these uh, too much. Uh, there's an update scoreboard on scored caution. All that means is uh, under scored cautions, the scoreboard continuously update. Um, but some people, in fact, most people like to just freeze the scoreboard under caution. So it's not updating while cars are going by. The show lap time and speed on caution. If you have that checked, so notice here how uh, under cautions, uh, let's start this race again here. There's a lap and a speed. But when you go to caution, notice how the lap and speed fields are now blank. They just use uh, dashed lines. But if you want to see lap time and speed during caution, click that checkbox. Oops, click the wrong checkbox. There we go. Now you'll see lap times and speed under caution. And this is just a preference type of thing. Some it's it doesn't affect uh, caution handling at all. Some people just like to see lap time and speed during cautions, but 
under most circumstances, it's it's not a useful. These are not useful things to see um, because, of course, lap times under cautions tend to be uh, much slower than under race conditions. And that's it for today. The caution handling section. Um, you can easily play around with these features uh, with a handful of transponders, maybe four or five transponders. Uh, you can wave them by the decoder that's not, you know, plugged into a loop. And uh, you can play around um, with this feature at home without having to be at the track, hooked in. And this is a, it's a great way to, to check out these features and see what they do. That's it for today.